Hi, my name is Erin with Green Ridge Rec Center. Today we're gonna to continue our core athletic series. We're gonna use our timer system and today you're gonna to need a weight or I'm gonna use a plate and then you're gonna need a towel for a little bit of the workout as well. All right, let's get started with the warm up. Take it side to side, squat. Keep that chest up. Keep going. <laughs> Four. Three, two, all right, we're gonna take a different direction. You're gonna take it transverse to the back. Open up, turn to the back, a little bit lower if you can. Four, three, two, and one. Now you're gonna keep those feet side by side. You're just gonna squat, lift those arms up. Keep it going. A little swing, four, three, two, hold it right there. You're gonna do little tiny pulses. Keep those arms up if you can. Four, three, two, and one. Stand it up, now you're gonna step back and lift those arms. Stretch up as far as you can. Four, three, two, and one. Now take those legs wide. You're just gonna take it down to the side, reach as far as you can. Again, keep that chest up. Four, three, two, and one. Now you're gonna take it to the other side. Just hold if you can. You're gonna reach that arm up, look up. Take it to the other side, same thing. All right, bring those hands down. Now you're just gonna roll yourself up, roll those shoulders back. All right, we're gonna get started. Our first section, three exercises, two times through. First one, we're gonna do a single leg deadlift, and then you're gonna curtsy. We're gonna work one side. 30 seconds on, get ready. All right, you're gonna do a deadlift, and then curtsy it down. Now if you wanna make it harder, I'm already losing my balance today. You can try to keep that foot all the way up. Up to you though. Strong core, that stationary leg, you're gonna feel all that pressure, all that weight in that leg. All right, you got 15 seconds in between. Catch your breath, move those feet. We're gonna take it down to the mat next. Now, knees or toes. We're gonna do a push-up, and you're gonna rotate. All right, get ready. Down, and rotate. You're gonna take it down, rotate to the other side, on your knees. Down, lift, it works both ways. We're doing push-ups right off the bat, so if you need, ease into it. Start with those knees. All right, take a little break. We're gonna stand it back up. Next workout, next exercise. Legs wide, hands behind your head. So you're gonna do prisoner squats. You got three seconds, so just keep those feet moving. Get ready, down and up. Now if those arms get tired, you can hold them out to the side or keep them in front. Try to get as low as you can. Still keep that chest proud. Keep it going, nice tight core as well. Keep it going. Couple more. All right, keep those feet moving. You've gone through your first round, second round. Other leg, single leg deadlift, and a curtsy. You got five seconds. Keep those feet moving, catch your breath. Get your water anytime you need. All right, down and curtsy it back. Remember if you want, try to hover those feet and not touch. This is a hard one to do right off the bat. You're not going for speed. You just wanna make sure you get that balance going. 
Get a little burn going in that stationary leg. Last one. All right. I'm gonna take it back to this push-ups again. Knees or toes. Push up with that rotation, side to side. Remember, if you're on your knees, you wanna keep a nice angle right here. Down and rotate. Keep it going. Again, if you need, take it down to your knees and open. All right, stretch it back real quick. Take it back up. You've got that prisoner squat next. Keep those feet moving. You got 15 seconds in between. So that's a good time. Wipe off, get you some water. All right, take it down and up. Nice, tight core. Just remember your core, you're not using it just on the floor to do sit-ups and crunches. Use it every day. Keep yourself upright. Keep it going. It's our last exercise in our endurance section. Almost. All right, little break. All right, we're gonna move on to agility. All right, so first up, you're just gonna do a little shuffle. You're gonna get those arms moving as well. Athletic arms, don't let them flail all over. Get ready, go. You can take this as steady or as fast as you would like. Just remember, keep those arms athletic. You don't want them moving all over the place. It's like you're on a mission here. Keep it going. All right, a little break. Next up, skater. You're gonna take it side to side. Now you can either step or add that little bounce to it. All right, get ready. And go. If you can, if you want to make it a little harder, reach down a little bit lower. Just remember to keep that chest proud. Keep it going. All right, little break, 15 seconds. Next up, we're gonna do a side shuffle. We're gonna start on one side of your mat. Shuffle, two shuffles, and then take it side to side. All right, we'll start over here right now, and go. Two, and two, you can make them as wide as you want. If you're not comfortable with the shuffle, take it back to that skater. going all right another break all right three exercises you're gonna do another round starting with that shuffle that boxer shuffle so you're gonna take it front to back with those athletic arms you got three seconds all right get ready if you're not comfortable with this boxer shuffle, high knees. Keep it going. A little bit more. All right, little break. Back to that skater. Next, keep those feet moving. Catch your breath. A little bit more. All right, get ready. Remember, if you want to make it harder, reach it down a little bit farther. Keep it going. 
going. Last one. All right, catch your breath again. You've got that shuffle side to side. We're going to start on this side. Remember, two shuffles, as big or as little as you want. Three seconds. All right, get ready and go. Now you can make them bounce a little bit more or keep it down a little bit lower. It's your workout. Keep it going. This is the last in our agility section before we move on to power. All right, take a break. All right, next up, you're gonna grab your weight or if you have a plate. Now we're gonna move it to the left. You're gonna squat and lift to the center. You're just moving that one side. Down, lift. Just like a kettlebell swing, kind of. But we're just moving to one side for now. If you can, you're gonna keep those arms straight. But if you need a little relief, always bend those elbows. Keep it going. All right, little break. Same thing, other side now. Catch your breath. All right, you don't have to use the weight either if you're not comfortable with it. All right, over to the right, down and lift. Wide squat, lift to the front. Keep it going. Nice, tight core. Tighten it up, use it to press yourself up. Keep it going. All right, put that weight down. All right, you're gonna take it down to the floor. You're gonna lay on your stomach. You're gonna grab that towel. You're gonna wad it up. Take it to the side, you're gonna lift and you're gonna pass and drop. Lift, pass it around to the front and drop. Lift and drop. If you're comfortable without that drop, you're gonna hold yourself up and pass that towel. Keep going. Remember down, up, and pass, or keep it up. All right, a little bit of a break. If you're gonna keep that towel, I'm gonna face you. All right, you're gonna hold that towel nice and tight. You're gonna lean it back, and we're gonna take it to the left and to the right, and then bring it back to the center. But you're gonna keep those arms as straight as you can. Lean it back as far as you can. Now if you have issues with your back, if you have one of those green bar balls that we have here at the gym, you can put that right behind your back to cushion or a kid's ball or a little small pillow. But you keep those feet on the floor. All right, there we go. Now, we're gonna keep it down. You're gonna take it up into a bear, kind of a bear crawl. You're gonna hover those knees. And you're gonna bring it to a plank and push back. Plank, push back. Now, this is option one. Option two, plank, push up again. Bear, plank, and push up. Up to you. You want to keep that back nice and flat. Your butt down as you pull into that plank. All right, take a little bit of a break. We're going to lay it back down on your back. Last little move in our power section. Legs are going to go up. You're going to reach for your toes. Lift those hips. Up. Hands behind your head, lift those hips, reach, 
and lift. If you can, you're going to leave your head and shoulders up off the floor. But if you need, always drop down in between. Reach and lift. Keep it going. See how far up you can reach. If you can touch those shoelaces. All right. Now we're going to move into speed. You're going to take it down into a plank. I'm going to face forward just so I can see you, or you can see me. You're going to take the left foot. You're just going to bring it up. All you're going to do, step and take it back. You're keeping on that same side. This is going to be one option. If you want, your other option is to jump it in to that one side again. Either way works. Keep it going. Or mix it up. Do both. All right, take a break. Lean it back into child's pose. Because you're going to do it again on the other side. You've got to make those sides even. So you're going to step that foot up and back, or you're going to jump it. Either way works. Take it up and tap, and then take it back. Now, if you want, mix it up. Or if you're feeling good, jump it in. I'll mix it up for you a little bit. A little bit more. And drop it down. Stretch it back again. All right. We're going to keep it on the floor. You gotta, you're going to grab that plate or your towel. Hold it in front of your head. You're either going to crunch like this. Or if you want, arms straight, reach it up. But you want to keep, if you're pulling it in, keep those elbows close. Exhale as you crunch. Keep it going. All right, we're going to sit it up. Put that plate down, keeping it on the floor. And we'll take it at an angle here. You're gonna have those hands together. You're gonna take it to one side and you're gonna crunch and reach and go. So you can either kind of chop or reach. Or if you're feeling good, actually sit it up and reach. Up to you. You're just going and sticking to one side. If you want more arm action, take it back and really push forward. All right, a little break, a little breather. We're gonna do it again, other side. So I'm gonna bring it around here. All right, we're gonna lay it back. And we're going to this side now and go. Remember, crunch, reach, or sit it up. Remember, exhale as you reach and crunch. Keep it going. All right, little break. I'm going to turn it back around. All right, we're on our last exercise. All right, we're going to take it back up into a plank. Okay? Legs are going to be straight. Hop it side to side. Tight as you can get that core. Hands under those shoulders. Kind of like you're doing a pencil hop, but in a plank form. Keep it going, keep it going. Almost. All right, we're going to take it down to your knees in the child's pose. 
stretch it back. Awesome job, guys. All right, now you're going to bring it up. Just take that left foot. Just bring it up as close as you can and just reach up. And you're going to take it back down, back into child's pose, and then you're going to do the right side. Bring that foot in, reach up and stretch. Bring it back down. All right, now you're just going to stand it up nice and steady. You're going to reach those arms up. And if you can, just try to reach it a little bit farther. Four, three, two, and one. Now put those hands together, bring it down in front. You're just going to push away. You're going to take those hands back around the back. Stretch it out the opposite direction. Roll those shoulders out. All right, legs wide. You're just going to lunge it. Take it to the other side. A little bit faster. Four, three, two, and one. Now you're going to take it to the other side and just hold it if you want. You can reach down to the floor. And then the other side, reach. Again, bring it to the center. You're going to let that back fold over. Then you're going to slowly stand it up and roll those shoulders back. And you guys are done. Jimmy's out, next in line. Swing by the 